What's going on, everybody? You're tuned into another episode of the Music Mastery Podcast with your host, Lizzie the Gifted. Today, what I want to talk to you about is setting the standards for yourself. Here's what I realized. I've realized, like today, here's how I came up on the thought. I'm at breakfast, I'm eating my breakfast, I'm drinking my coffee, I'm doing my thing. And I thought about who's rich. Okay, my dad always used to say the quote, who's rich, the man who's happy with what he has. And for a while, to me, what that quote meant was you don't need to earn more money because you should just be happy with what you have. Then I started getting into like money mindset and how to earn more money and I realized that's not the right mindset to have if you want to earn more money. So I kind of pushed the thought off to the side, but now I've realized there's another layer to that quote because you really think about it. I think if you ask different people what rich means, you'll get different answers. Like some people would say earning a million dollars a year is rich. Some people would say that's not rich. Some people would say 500,000. Some people would say 100,000. You know what I mean? I don't know if anybody would say, I'm not sure who would say 100,000, but, and then you really think about the globe and you think, well, if you really compare us in the United States to the globe, we're rich. Like most of us are rich because we could just do whatever we want. You know what I mean? Depend. It depends. A lot of the people in the globe have to live on not a lot of money. I don't know the exact numbers or the statistics, so I won't share them. But if you look it up, look at the average. Say, look at what's the average yearly salary of the globe, of everybody in the world. You'll be like, whoa, this is low. It's like 30000 or maybe it's actually not thirty, thirteen, thirteen thousand $13,000 a year it might be. The average salary for the globe. Imagine trying to feed your family off thirteen grand. You can't do it. So that's like the average salary of all seven billion. So then you look at us, middle class here, the average salary is like 67K. That's a lot compared to the rest of the world. So it's like, what is rich? So then you gotta think about that in terms of your music career. What do you want your music career to be? It's so different. I'm going in this completely different direction than I was before. I've realized that you have to set the standards for yourself and that's what I'm doing. That's what I'm trying to do. I was just on. The, I was. I was on the call last night, uh, and I'll. You know, I'll announce this. I don't mind talking about it. You know, I was on. I was on. Not last night. I was talking to my manager, Robin, yesterday. We're talking about me doing a Patreon. Okay, if you guys know anything about Patreon, it's just basically where like what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have a Patreon account, and then I'm gonna open it up for. You know, you could basically pay into me on a monthly membership basis, and I'm gonna. You know. I'm gonna, I'm not, we're not sure exactly what I'm gonna offer. We're gonna offer exclusive content that we're only gonna give to the, to my patrons, to my patrons, P-A-T-R-O-N-S, patrons. Um, we're talking about doing that, which isn't something brand new. There's a lot of people doing Patreon, but it's never really something I thought much about. But my manager was like, we should, we, you should, you should, you should do that. You should have a Patreon. I'm like, damn, you right, right? And so, but that's not something I had. Originally, when I first started my whole music career, I thought I was going to do get signed to a record label and be on and be rich like that. And then I started learning more about the industry and I started realizing that it's really not about fitting into the mold of what everybody wants you to be. And it's more about you creating your own thing. And I, I've learned, especially from guys like Gabe Schillinger of Legion Beats, people, you know, before Legion Beats, there was Anno Domini who had really adopted selling beats online using sales funnels and then legion took it over and now legion teaches producers about how to sell beats online using sales funnels that wasn't a big thing right anno domini pioneered it gabe legion reinvented it and re-innovated it and they've reinvented how to sell beats online and they've opened up the doors and it made me realize you do not need to take somebody else's plan and copy it you don't need to do what somebody else does and copy it. You don't need to do that. You shouldn't do that. You know, yes, with certain aspects of what you do, you should. If somebody does something that works, try it. But I'm talking about an entire career, an entire system, an entire life. You shouldn't be cre recreating somebody else's life. You got to do yours. You got to do your own thing. We got to do our own thing. You know what I'm saying? You got to, but the, the thing is, you got to set the definition of what does it mean to be successful. Here's the biggest problem that I see. When I ask people what their goals are, they can't even answer that. If your goals are not 
absolutely dialed in, then you're probably not going to be that successful. How can you how can you achieve something that you don't know? <laughs> right? I mean, I know that sounds kind of dumb, but if I were to just say, I'll give you a, a small example. Let's say I was I was going to say I want a car. I want a brand new car. Let's just say that. Say I want a. Actually, no. Let's just say I want a car. Okay. When? Oh, like next year. When? What kind of car? Do you want a brand new car? What year? What make? What model? What's your price range? If you can't answer those questions, you're probably not going to get that car because you don't really know. How are you going to even know when is the right time to buy that car? Does that make sense? If you let, let, Let's say I say I want to get a car. Okay, cool. But I don't know my budget. How am I going to know when I should get a car? How am I going to know where to go to get a car? Because I don't know what kind of car I want. Right? But what if I'm like, because here, here's where I am. I'm like, I want a Mercedes S550. Okay. I want a 2018 or 2017 or 2018 Mercedes S550. I say that in those years because you can get an S550, which is a dope looking car for a pretty solid price. Pretty solid to me means I think they go for 40 to 50K. You get a dope looking car that, that just looks sick, that's comfortable for 40, 50K. I like the sound of that. But you see how I know the year, the make, the model, I know what color I want to, I want black with black tint, black window tint. And I want that, I know the color of the interior. It's like that, that beige, light beige, I don't know, the manila, like manila folders, but like lighter. I can't really, yeah, I don't know. But I know, the, I know exactly what I want the car to look like. I know the, the make, the model, you know what I'm saying? I know, and I know the price. In fact, by the time I, I end up getting the money for it, it might go down to like 40, 30 to five to 40K. Then I'm like, cool, I could get a dope car. You know what I'm saying? You need to get specific on what you want. So same thing with your music career. I ask artists this all the time. What, what are your goals for next year? I just want to get more fans. You sound stupid when you say that. Yeah, I'm going to be really mean to you right now. And I'm going to sound like an asshole. Who build a fan base. You sound stupid. To people like me, you don't sound very smart. I have somebody who I'm coaching. We're about to start coaching him. Um, your boy MOE. Right, motivation over everything. I asked him, and there's no and there's no surprise that he he's hiring me to coach him. I asked him, "What are your goals for next year?" He goes, "Bro, I want to build my email list to 5,000 email subscribers." I was so hyped when he said that. I was like, "Oh my gosh, somebody who actually knows what they want." He's like, "Yeah, I'm not trying. You don't. I don't have to be a millionaire next year. I don't need to be on. But next year, if I have 5,000 email subscribers, bro, I'll be super happy." Dude, and, and, and he hired me to coach him. It's no surprise. When people know exactly what they want, they go after it and they get it. That's how it goes, man. That's how stuff goes. That's how life goes. So for you, and by the way, I always kind of tie it back to like, you need to line up what you really want. So if you just say things like, um, I want 100,000 plays on a song on Spotify by next year. I really want you to think about something for a second. Right now I'm recording this, it's November 7th. Let's say November 7th, 2021, you have a song with 100,000 plays. I, I am already gonna promise you, I'm already going to promise you that unless you have a proven system, two things. Number one, if you have a proven system to get those kinds of results repeatedly, if you don't have that, if you don't have a system to get those exact same results repeatedly, you're screwed, number one. You, there's no good in having a song with 100,000, number one. Number two, what is that really gonna do for you? If you have a song with a million streams, may, maybe record labels reach out to you. Maybe you grow a fan base from that. I don't know. You, I'd have to see how you got there, but if you, so you gotta really think about what's really important to you. That's the other problem. So the first thing you gotta think about when it comes to setting your goals, you gotta think of what's the biggest goal I have. Set that standard for yourself. My goal is I wanna earn $10 million per year. 
10 million per year before taxes. Which I know after taxes probably will not even be close to, it, it, you know, it'll be a lot further off. But I know that's what I want to earn. That's the number I want to earn per year from all my income streams. That's the number. But obviously I'm like way far away from that number, so I need to reverse engineer it and come back to where I am now. Well, the first thing I gotta get to, we gotta get to that million. Right? By the way, and, and this is this is this is why this kind of thing is good for you because if you look and go, uh, I just wanna I wanna I want my business to earn a million a year. That's fine if you want your business to earn a million a year. A million what? Million dollars revenue? Because people people flex about revenue a lot. It's like not that cool. Cause like after profit, so so revenue after expenses, add exp, adver, if you have overhead, which some people have no overhead. Like if you're an online business, you have like no overhead, which is cool. But if you have employees or virtual assistants, if you have a building, you know, if you do or die, you might not have a building, you know. But let's say you don't have a building, so no building. So. Um, you know, you've got your employees, you've got ad advertising expenses, um, any kind of cost of doing business for what, you know what I mean? And all that stuff adds up, then you got taxes. Now how much money are you really earning? It might not even be 200,000. It really, realistically, if you want, if you go from a million dollars revenue in your business, it might trickle down, you might only be getting 200, 250K. If you say I want my business to earn a million dollars profit, Aha, now you're probably, now you got a better number. If you say, I want to earn a million dollars profit, for me personally, aha, how do you get that, right? Chances are you probably want to multiply by 10. If you want to earn a million dollars profit and you're an entrepreneur, your business might need to make 10 million. Like if your business is making 10 million a year, you probably are getting paid a million. But think about how hard that is. The difference between what I think I want, what I want and what I actually have to do to get that number. You see what I'm saying? You gotta think about that too. So if your ultimate goal is, ultimate goal, my ultimate goal is 10 million a year profit. If your ultimate goal is a million streams on Spotify, I personally think you are screwing up. I think you need to raise the bar because I don't think that's very cool. I, people who have a million followers on TikTok or even a million followers on Instagram, there's some people who have a million followers on Instagram, they don't have a million dollars. They're not millionaires. So what's really important? What's so cool about having numbers on? I talk about this all the time. Set your own standards. Don't let me set your standards. If you are so dead set on getting a million streams on Spotify, good for you, whoop de doo Like go do what you wanna do. I think that's stupid, that that's your ultimate goal. I think it's a good goal to get to, but I don't think it's like the most important thing. See what I'm saying? I don't care about Spotify streams at all. I literally am like, I don't care. All I care about now that I'm set on this Patreon thing, because Patreon is money in my bank account. That's where I'm at. Would I rather have 14? I just saw somebody. What's her name, man? I can't pull her up. She got 14,000 patrons. She's got a $1, a $3, and a $5, I think. No, $1, $5, $10, I think it is. The rankings, where somebody can either pay her a dollar, $5, $10. Think about this. She's got 14,350 patrons. If all of those patrons were only paying $1 a month, she's making 14K off her music. 14K a month. Now, she does have a large social media following. She's doing her thing. She only, she only has 244,000 followers on Instagram. She doesn't even have a million. She's making 14K. Wow, that's cool. That's cool, off just her Patreon. That's cool, that's where I want. That's where I wanna be. You know what I'm saying? That's the stuff that matters to me, cause I like money. I don't like, care about Spotify streams. I care about money. Care about money, behind the scenes, stuff that's gonna get me money, right? So, that's what I care about. I want you to think about that stuff today, right? If you're listening to this and it's the weekend, take the weekend to just realign your brain. During the week, it's very, take action, hustle, bustle. 
Take this weekend to write things down and plan things and take time away from your work so that you can think and understand what you really want in your life, all right? If you got any value out of the episode, leave a rating, leave a review, subscribe to the podcast and share it with a friend. If you're watching this on YouTube, subscribe to the YouTube channel, hit that bell notification so that you do not miss. I'm doing videos about four or five times a week, Monday through Thursday, so make sure that you don't miss a video, all right? Thank you so much for tuning in on the podcast and for watching on YouTube and I'll talk to you again soon. Peace.